Hi, my name is Jody Harris. I am a fifth grade teacher at Echo Lake Elementary, and this is my fifth grade math class. All right, boys and girls, we are getting ready to do our number of the day, so you need to have your dry erase board and markers ready to go. Our number of the day is 60. Yes, so we have 60. We have been in school for 60 days. So please go ahead and you have about one minute to find all of the facts and the factors and identify anything you can find for the number 60. All set? Yeah. Go. Good, 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 good. Multiple. Good, I see lots of T-charts being done. You have about 30 more seconds. Keep going. What else can you identify for 60? All right, come to a good stopping point. I'm seeing great things about the number 60. Will you please go right up on the board what you wrote for the number 60? Cortland is going to share what she identified for 60. So make sure you're checking over yours, seeing if yours is comparing to hers. Good, I like how you're using your notes. Good, good. All right, so we have a what, Cortland? It is a composite number. And Cortland, explain how you know it is a composite number. It has more than two factors. Do we agree? Yes. All right, so what am I shading in for our number of the day today? Blue. We are going to shade it in blue. It is a composite number. All right, Cortland, what else did you identify? It's a fraction. Okay, go write it as a fraction. Excellent. And then how would you find the equivalent decimal? All right. How do you read the fraction, Cortland? 60 hundredths. hundredths. Good. And how do we write our decimal? Zero. Good question. Do we need that zero at the end? No. No, it's a what? Placeholder. Placeholder. So how else could we write it? Fantastic. Good job. Thank you, ma'am. All right, one more fact. It is an even number. even number. Yes, 60 is an even number. So we know it's divisible by two. two. Excellent job. Any questions about the number 60? You all did fantastic with that today. Please clear off your board, but do not put it away. You will need your multiplication chart. So we have been talking about our long division. Right now we're just focusing on this whole number long division, correct? Yes. And so who can raise their hand and tell me the steps that we've been practicing for long division? Maddox? Excellent. All right. We ready to do it all together? Get your hand motions ready. All set? Yeah. Go. Divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. When I say go, please tell your table how we do our long division. Go. Fantastic. 
fantastic. Good job. All right, so when we are doing our long division, we want to focus on those factors, right? We only go up to what? Nine. We don't want those double digits. We want to stay with our single digits, so we're only going to stop at nine, correct? Excellent. All right, so we are going to do something a little different today. We are going to do what's called an error analysis. What is an error? When you mess up, right. So Ms. Harris has done an error. She has made an error in one of her division problems. And I need you all to find it and correct it for me. Do you think you can do that? Yes. Yes? yes. All right, so you need to have your dry erase boards ready. I'm going to give you all a problem and you're going to solve it first. And then I'm gonna put my error up and you need to tell me what I did incorrectly. All right, so can you take your board and go sit over there? Can you take your board and then, yep, go take your board, Mohammed, And then Eli, can you take your board too? Great. All right, so I'm going to come around. We have our first problem, all right? So how do we read this division problem? Excellent. So which one is our dividend? And which one is our divisor? Seven. So what factors are we writing out? Seven. The sevens. Good. All right. So I'm going to come around to your tables and you all have the word or the problem in front of you. So once you get the problem, please start solving it. I'm going to lay it right here. That's okay. All right. So go ahead and start solving it. There you go, you guys. Do you want to scooch over here for right now so you and John can share? And then Lena, do you want to come over here with them? And then here you all go. Let's see those steps. We are solving it. Thank you. So, where are we going? Yes. So, what do you need to put right there? What's next? There you go. You just needed that start. That's the one Miss Fair's always forgot. Before you go to seventh and eighth grade, you have to go to fifth and fifth. Remember that? That's the one I always forgot when I was your age. Okay. And then we have seven times nine equals. So remember, we come down and stop. What do we say? Yeah, we don't want to go over six, do we? Mm -mm. Does seven go over six? It does. So what do we have to do up here? There you go. Yes. All right, I'm going to give you about one more minute. You want to find the number closest to what without going over? Yes. So what do we do? Mm hmm What number is closest to six without going over? Zero. Yes. So what needs to go right there? Zero. Your zero. There you go. I put my error analysis up. I put my problem up. I need you to analyze what I did incorrectly. So what I want you to do is I want you to talk to your tables about where my mistake was, okay? So you need to compare your work first. Do you wanna go over there? I need to compare my work first, and then we're gonna check mine. All set? All right, go. Where did I make my mistake? All right. 
What are we forgetting to write up here? We have 65. We want to find a number closest to 65 without going over. Good. Where is that going to go? Where's that going to go? What do you do? So if, if when she asks for volunteers, if you want to raise your hand and say, well, Miss Harris, I think what you forgot to do is when you, when you first divided, seven can't go into six, only zero times. So you forgot to put your zero there. And that messed up her whole quotient. I forgot my placeholder. It is supposed to be zero good. So where should that go? Right over here. Good. I was thinking that. So I looked at what? Mm hmm But then I put my nine where? All right, hands and eyes. Who wants to share my mistake? Where did I make my mistake? Elon, can you explain it loud and proud? You, for the first one, you, you did seven divided by 65 instead of seven divided by six, which would make zero. Good, so I did not put my what? My placeholder. We need to remember that if it does not go into that first number, we've got to put our placeholder. So instead, I wrote my nine over here. That's not the right spot, is it? No. Because that's saying to me that six divided by seven equals nine. And that's not correct, is it? No. So then I said, oops, I think I need to put a zero there. I actually just realized it, it wouldn't be that answer because that Good. I was hoping somebody would figure that out. He said the quotient should not be bigger than the what? Um, dividend, dividend, right? So this doesn't even make sense. I should have looked at that and said, wait a minute. My quotient is larger. And when we're dividing, we are breaking into what? into parts, equal parts. So this doesn't even make sense. High five on that one. All right, any others? Yes, ma'am. Um, and I did not bring the five down, yes, because I didn't subtract it by zero. Good job. How are we feeling about that? Yes, good. Is it okay that I made my mistake? Yep, yeah, but we caught the mistake, right? Good, excellent. Any questions about this one? All right, let's clear off our boards. All right, this time you may work with your tables to solve the last one. Flip it over. All right, let's read this one together. Ready? 4,045 divided by 5. Excellent. Are we ready to solve it? Yes. Go. Don't look at my mistake yet. <gasps> don't look at my mistake. We don't want to look at that because we know Miss Harris made a mistake on hers, so don't look at mine. I want to see if you can find that mistake. All right, once your table is done solving, compare your answer. And then check my error. Where did I make my mistake? Good. All right, so what do you do? You subtract. Mm -hmm. Yes. Closest to 40 without going over. Good. All right, walk me through it. Keep going. 
When you get to this point, what's my next step? You divide. Well, before I do that, what do I need to do um, here? With my factors. You box it. Box it. Box the second factor. Box it. I'm boxing it because that's the number that's going to tell me what's going in my quotient. That's my important number. Is it zero? Eighty? But if you bring down the five, it's... Forty-five. So do we need to bring anything else down? Do we need to keep going? So what is our final quotient? Okay. Now, compare yours to mine. Where is my error? Where did I mess up? Look at yours. Look at mine. Where's my mistake? Five cannot go into four, so that's why I put my zero. Then what? What did I forget? Well, what did I do? I brought down the four and I brought down the what? Mm-hmm. So you're, am I supposed to bring two numbers down at the same time? No. So see how you brought your four down? You subtracted, and then you brought your five down. Where was my mistake? What did I do incorrectly, Libby? Good. I skipped a step, didn't I? Yeah. Mohammed, what was that step that I skipped? Ooh, say that fast. I didn't bring down what? Your own four. I did not bring down my own four. Good. So I skipped that whole step where I needed to subtract four minus zero to have my zero in my quotient. Yes, sir? I did not do 4 minus 0, yes. So here, I should have brought my 4 down, and not my 5, and subtracted 4 minus 0. Then I can bring my 5 down. Did you want to add to that, Samim? Yeah. What did you want to add to? Yeah. 8 in the Well, if I put correct, if I had my zero, my eight would be in my hundreds place. Yes, it is in the tens place right now, and we don't want that. Yes, sir? Also, the answer doesn't make sense because it, it would also not be that low of a number. Correct, it wouldn't be that low of a number either because we have a huge number right here. We went up to our thousands this time. We have a four-digit number, so it wouldn't make sense that the quotient would be just 89. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today and learning a little bit about long division in our class. We appreciate you visiting us.